Hey, what's going on? It's Lucas Walker here redoing this store review. There was no audio, uh, so I apologize for that if you were one of the few people who watched the Port Santos review or a couple of the other reviews that did not have audio. I'm going to work on redoing them, but I'm still so backlogged on this. Wanted to take a look at Port Santos, so selling coffee online, and they did a great job with uh, the product imagery, but let's jump into it. Before I do though, don't forget to subscribe. If you like these videos, check out the Shopify store review playlist and the playlist with the great Shopify stores. There's a lot there that you can uh, take and hopefully implement in your own store or learn um, some best practices there. The first thing here is the, uh, the email pop-up. 30% off feels like it's a little bit more than maybe you need. I would experiment if dropping that down to say 10% or 5% impacts your, your conversion rates as well of if it makes sense to try something really aggressive like get your first bag of coffee for only a dollar. This will let you test a few different offers to see what really converts the best. And when doing this, you want to look at your opportunity cost. So if you are dropping 30% off your first order and they order quite a bit, this could cost you um, on a $100 cart, that's $30 of lost revenue. Whereas giving away a bag of coffee, uh, if that does entice a larger order or giving it away for only a dollar, may cost you a lot less. I was just at a Privy last week and one of the big takeaways was that um, the highest converting opt-ins do have a giveaway and talking to Sean from Dude Wipes, the best giveaways are something awesome, not necessarily a product. So I would do something like win a Bodum Grinder, win a Neville Espresso Maker, something really cool like that that's worth a couple hundred bucks. Maybe do that drawing leading into Black Friday, do that as a giveaway to capture emails because that's a product that your potential buyers would use. I would also, um, big fan of Omnisend, I use Clavio and Privy, uh, we're partnering with them, but pay for the premium version to get rid of that powered by Omnisend sticker. Uh, you don't want to be sending people away from your website. So love it, freshly roasted, delivered to your door, coffee beans, easy, easy, easy. I would say change the enter market to shop now, just because it's more familiar. Enter market does to me, feel like you will be selling other uh, coffee beans. Love that you're going into Y Port Santos. It looks like you're using the Parallax theme theme, same one as mine. I'm a big fan of out of the sandbox. Look at Hey Carson or another tool to just tighten up this area to bring it up. I need to do that in my store, but this is what I loved so, so much. Um, all coffee beans pretty much look the same. Sure, there's some dark roast, light roast, but you don't really get those notes. I love how you have the citrus and the, the flavorings in the background. I also think that this just looks so, so sharp. Uh, the coffee beans on white with a drop shadow, again, looks super good and it's really in trend right now. Um, love the contact us. If you're using help desk, definitely check us out at, uh, at Gorgeous. Let's take a look on mobile. Looks good on mobile here, scrolling up. Rolling up is the iPhone 6 or 7. Let's go to the iPhone X now since it's a little bit more common. Products look good. I would add it in a bundle. I would say get all three for $45. Um, if it'll let, it just encourages people to order more. And I would change the free shipping on um, two bags or more. So set that minimum threshold for free shipping to say $25. Close out here. Market. Oh, I was wrong on the parallax theme. It looks like you're using a uh, Brooklyn. Love that you have a couple of um, the magic mug. That's pretty cool. Let's check in here. Oh, cool! It's coffee. Ch it's color changing. I would add in a picture here of it changing colors or possibly even a GIF of it changing colors, but that's pretty cool. But I would focus on really bundling the products. I would also add in, in great, great um, imagery here as well, showing that it's from, uh, from Red Giant. So if you are selling other brands of coffee, then definitely have keep it as, as market. But I would say add to cart by with Google Pay, I don't know if that's because I'm in Chrome, 
but really look at your analytics. So don't have the Google Pay button if most of your website is coming from iOS. More payment options. Okay, so I went right to, to checkout, which is smart. I would look at Apple Pay as well because I am on a Mac right now. But instead of having the add to cart, I would have an incentive to, to buy more. So again, free shipping when you order two bags or more and give people to buy um, buy a case if they're ordering it for their office, ordering it because just because they really like it and want to save. Definitely don't be afraid to sell um, a lot at a time. Another thing is to do subscriptions. I personally like Recharge. That's what I use at Treats Happen. I was just at ChargeX. I know a bunch of the team over there. Really great support, but definitely because it is a consumable product, look at uh, using Recharge or another tool to manage your subscriptions. I would have here, um, I would definitely add an About Us page and just talk about the coffee from Port Santos, what that means, why it's special, why it is um, premium affiliates. Uh, you are taking people off your website here. So I would be careful. And this is, it's not really branded. You've got your logo here. But when I'm looking at this, I look, it looks like a, a software site, not necessarily a Port Santos branded page, I would take this down and make this as a standalone page and replace this with an about us, just about your process, about uh, your history and everything there. The only last thing I would add is if you are going to any farmers markets or events, get some great photos there and use that as your, as your content beyond just products. People do like to buy from, from people and give a, give a product description when you upload to Instagram. So just talk about what that coffee means, why coffee, and what that, uh, what that really means. Overall, it looks pretty good. Um, at the end of the day, I'd probably put my credit card in here, so it's hard to say anything more than that. Well done.